In tonight's Ask Anthony, a Jacksonville family with an insurance problem. In March, this car that you're about to see crashed into a woman's home off of Lim Turner Road. A claim was filed with her homeowner's insurance and she received a check in the mail. But she says the amount she received won't cover all the damage and repairs. So she contacted me for help. And we heard an extremely loud noise like a bang. Quindalyn Lang and her mother, Queen Alexander, were having breakfast one morning when they felt their house shake. So what happened was the table shifts into my stomach, and I'm telling mom, I was like, oh man, I said something actually happened. Lang went outside to find a car had crashed into the side of their home. She believes the driver had a medical emergency. The refrigerator was actually here. Oh, okay. So we don't know how I got over there. Lang's mother filed a claim with her insurance company, Universal Property and Casualty. They sent her a check in the mail. Her homeowner's insurance sent her this check for $5,000, and we're looking like there's no way with the damages that occurred that this could be sufficient. According to Lang, the estimates they received to repair the home and replace personal items that were damaged was between twelve dollars and $18,000. She says her mother is on a fixed income and can't afford the extra cost. Every time it rains, the water's in there, all of her stuff is damaged. I reached out to the insurance company. Hello, this is Anthony with First Coast News. A representative called me back to explain the situation. In a statement, Universal Property and Casualty Insurance said in part, quote, We have previously spoken with Ms. Alexander to explain the process for seeking a supplemental payment if the amount of covered damage exceeds the estimated amount. We have not received any information supporting a different estimate of loss than initially determined by our adjuster. However, we remain willing to consider any additional information Ms. Alexander would like to provide. And when it comes to the driver of the car who hit the home, the statement goes on to say, in these situations, we pursue recovery from the responsible party, not only for the amounts we pay as an insurer, but for the amount of the insured's deductible. If we are successful in a recovery, we will reimburse Ms. Alexander accordingly. So what would be the perfect resolution for you in this situation? What do you want to just see happen? If the insurance company would just pay whatever the damages are, you know, what she's paid into it over 15 years, and I'm thinking somebody has to be responsible. And I receive many emails about this very issue. So here's three things to know tonight. When you sign your homeowner's policy, read it carefully. In fact, check every single detail in the policy about what it includes and what it doesn't include. And if you think your insurance claim money is not enough, be persistent. If you're persistent with your insurance company, they may settle with you to get the matter resolved. So call, email, call again, email again, call them again until you get this taken care of. And if all else fails, it's not a bad idea to hire a lawyer who can help you with your insurance claims and any other legal orders related to the matter. Remember, if you have a problem you just can't solve, you can always email me at AskAnthony at FirstCoastNews.com.